I was up in Newcastle on a very cold winter's day, there was a very cold wind blowing, but it was skinned you. It would have been January in 2006, and I was in the car park waiting for my wife and daughters to come back. All of a sudden I realised there were a small group of people standing on the beach next to the sea. They weren't moving, there were three middle-aged women, an elderly man and a young fella. They were standing together looking out to sea and I walked down to within a few feet of them. And the next thing I saw this woman opening a bag and taking out a single red rose with a long stem. She handed the rose to the youth and here didn't he stick it up above his head. It's nearly like someone you see in a church, you know, a man holding up a, a chalice or a monstrance in a religious ceremony. And then, to my surprise, I just couldn't believe it. The young fella just started to walk straight into the sea, holding up this red rose, until the sea was up to his armpits. The next thing he held the rose up, took it in his right hand, and threw it out into the sea. He stood for a couple of minutes, turned around again, came back and rejoined the group. And uh, as the group turned to leave, uh, the old man saw me and he spoke to me. And he said, uh, suppose you wondered what we were doing? Well, he said, it's like this. We had an old uncle who died recently. On his deathbed, he asked would we go to Newcastle, a place he was very fond of, like in his young day, and would we throw a red rose out into the sea in his memory. Just before the old man left me, I told him of an old Norse legend, you know. And they had a habit of, when a warrior was deceased, they threw a, a flower out into the sea. And if the flower didn't come back again to the shore, it was a sign that the dead was happy in Valhalla, or the heaven of the gods. And the old man seemed very pleased to hear this, I suppose because the rose hadn't come back either, it had gone out to sea. And uh, I, was, I was nearly crying afterwards, I know that's a stupid remark to make, maybe you think that's silly, but that's the way it was, and somehow it touched me very deeply and I felt I had been witness to something very precious.